Good morning, everyone. Day 19. Just completed our first climb in the morning. And there's a view of Fontana Lake. Headed into Fontana Dam right now. And boy, do I have a funny story to share with you this morning. As soon as we woke up this morning, the laughter began. So, I stayed in the shelter last night. We were supposed to have some rain coming in around 8 o'clock last night. The rain never came. Thank goodness. I mean, I'll deal with the rain, whatever. So, right beside me, the Rev grabbed the spot. He's always interesting to be beside because, you know, he sounds, snores like a locomotive. And uh, so he wakes up early morning. He has to do a little nature break. And he comes back in. And we were in an old uh, CCC shelter last night. And when he came back in, the floorboards did not go up snug against the rear of the shelter. So there was a big gap in there. So I was real careful when I laid down last night not to put anything too close to it. It might get knocked down in a hole. Well, the Reb comes in thinking he lost his favorite light. And he starts looking around for it, starts getting a panic and everything like that. Mind you, this is about 5.30 in the morning. And he just has to have his favorite flashlight. So he, I hear him say, I better not have fallen down that hole. So he looks around his bivy and everything like that, can't find it. Looks up and down the side of my sleep bag, can't find it. Next thing you know, it gets quiet. I look over and here's the rev. And he's got his arm shoved all the way down in this hole underneath the platform inside the shelter. And I said, do you feel anything? And he very calmly says, and he says, no but I'm pretty sure I got my arm stuck. And I'm like, oh my God. So right away I start thinking, you know, we're gonna have to pry these floorboards up and everything and just to rescue the Rev. And I told him, I said, slide your arm over there to the widest part of that plank and try to get your arm out. <laughs> so finally, after some serious pulling, I should have, I need to learn to be quicker with the camera because that just would have been absolutely hilarious. It was still dark at that time. Uh, finally, he gets his arm pulled out. He looks at me and goes, I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> so we thought we had a real problem even before we hit the trail this morning. But I uh, figured I'd share that with you guys. A lot of laughs. Um, these guys, a lot of fun to be around with. Uh, never a dull moment. So now uh, we're going to begin the descent into Fontana Dam. Just can't wait to get there. Thinking about the Smokies. If all goes well, we'll uh, Nero in its Fontana village. Um, hopefully all of our resupplies came in through the postal service. And uh, get some rest, discuss game plan, take a real close look at the weather. And tomorrow, hopefully, off we'll go into the Great Smoky Mountains. Here we are with another view of Fontana Lake. And if you take a look down through the trees, that is my first glimpse, our first glimpse of Fontana Dam. We're getting closer, everyone. Beautiful morning, temperatures are just right for hiking. Now this little rock outcrop here, this could possibly be a bear condominium. Got a spot there, a spot there, a spot way up top. Hmm. We haven't seen any bear sign or scatter anything so far, thank goodness. Let's just hope that that remains true 
when we hit the Smokies. Rain's finally catching up with me. But it's cooling me off right now. I don't want to deploy this umbrella just yet. Less than a mile to go to the Fontana Hilton Shelter. Legendary on the AT. Give you guys a look around when we get there. Here we are, everybody. The legendary Fontana Hilton Shower. Let's take a look around. Fontana Hilton, everybody. It's about 1045. I'm gonna give you guys, I'm just gonna walk past the front of the uh the shelter. I understand there's somebody still sleeping in here, so I'll give you a quick tour. Trash receptacles out here, bear proof, dump your garbage. There is a solar powered power station here, which is really cool that you can uh, charge all your electronics. There is water ready to rock. Awesome fire pit area down there on the bottom. Picnic table and a spectacular view. Fontana Lake. It's the Fontana Hilton. And there's actually restroom facilities up around the corner. Made it in the Fontana Dam for a Nero. And to reiterate what a Nero day is, it is a day that we will spend part of the day hiking. And the other part, we will head into a hostel, a town, a hotel where we will shower. Hey, is there anybody in here? Hey, hey. Eat. Do laundry. Sleep and eat again. So tonight we have a room booked at the beautiful Fontana Village. Now many of you may think that hey it costs a lot of money to stay there. Well when you have the power of hiking in a group or you can harness the power of hikers around you. We have a total of four people. We have split a room here and it is absolutely spectacular here. Um, each one of us and they has to pay like $23 and some odd cents. So if there's anyone coming behind us, just make sure um, as you make friends on trail, you can stay in a little bit nicer uh, accommodations if you split those expenses of a shuttle, um, of a room, and the power of four or more can certainly go a long way. So I'm gonna head in here and uh, get my resupply ready. Um, by the way, my sweetheart at home, she's, she shipped me my resupply box. Uh, I have about six and a half days worth of food. I'll share that in just a moment as we prepare to head into the Smokies because the resupply portion here is very expensive. Uh, you have limited resources. There's a little bit of uh, resupply in the general store inside. And there's also a gas station just for this little village down here and everything is extremely expensive. So we planned this ahead of time, saved me a lot of money and it um, definitely leveled out the cost of shipping everything here. And my box was sealed with a kiss. So thank you so much, sweetheart. So let's head inside. Just a quick look around the general store here within the hotel. Um, we have some cliff bars, some snack crackers, chips and everything like that over here. Some other hiker staples, plenty of candy bars, peanut butter, ramen, absolutely love ramen. There's some Gatorade packs, more ramen, tuna packets, some beef jerky, plenty of soft drinks, which would typically be enjoyed here at the hotel. ATM, if you need some funds, some breakfast items over here. And then they have some medical items over here. And again, here in Fontana Village, there is a gas station just down the road that offers a few more items as well. Quick view from out behind the lodge. Obviously the pool is not open, but for those of you coming behind, it may be open. And there is a look of the Smoky Mountains. 
and they have a dedicated terminal here just in the, the lobby area where you can print your permit for the Smokies. I'm not going to go into too much detail with the hotel. You can find that information online, but hikers uh, coming behind us down on the first floor level, just off of the, uh, the patio area inside, there is a dedicated closet that is a hiker box. And a lot of folks now, I was in here early and there's a lot of stuff in here. So folks getting uh, their drop boxes shipped in here, go through them. And there's uh, typically a lot of stuff in here that you can root through, take something, leave something, and uh, lighten your load and get some variety. Our nearer day is coming to a close here at Fontana Village here at the Lodge. Just finishing up uh, some vlogging, trying to get some videos uploaded. Um, we have the laundry's done, we're all cleaned up, resupply is all finished up, and we're all set to be picked up here at the Lodge at 6 a.m. where we're gonna get back out and take our first steps into the Smoky Mountains. Um, before I close out tonight's episode, I do wanna turn the camera around here, and I wanna send this fire home to my sweetheart at home. Sweetheart, I miss you so much. You know how much I love you. I can't wait till I finish this and I can get home by our campfire at our campsite. Thinking of you, sweetheart. I love you, baby. See you tomorrow, everyone. Good night.